It's often been said that patience is a virtue and that the best things come to those who wait. Let me tell you, this becomes very apparent when one dives into the world of growing their own strawberries. They're a low crawling perennial that handles the cold like a champ while spreading the summer wealth like no other. But strawberries really are a crop for the future. Very rarely are they harvested in any substantial way the first year in which they're planted. And to get the best strawberry production in those subsequent years to follow, the mother plants need to be planted in the right space, the right way, at the right time. And that's what we're going to talk about today. How to plant and set up your brand new strawberry patch for the most success. Because look, whenever you're planting or planning for the future, you always want to make sure it's going to be worth the wait. As mentioned, strawberries are a low crawling perennial plant that comes back from a winter dormancy year after year. Amazingly, these guys are very low maintenance, especially considering the harvest they give. Their list of wants, while stringent, is extremely low. If you're new to strawberries and you're just buying yours for the first time, you'll notice that they come in three types, three different categories. First, we have June bearing which typically produce one high yield crop per year. Next, we have everbearing, which produce two, three, sometimes even four crops per season. And finally, we have the newer, more unique varieties known as day neutrals. These guys have the ability to set flower and produce fruit regardless of the day length, as long as the temperatures stay warm enough. If you have even a small amount of space, just a five gallon pot and a lonely patio, you can grow your own strawberries. The funny thing is though, once you get going, it's going to be tough to stop just at one. And with that, let's get started. Let's run down the checklist of everything we need to know to plant our first strawberries. When you've made the decision to grow your own strawberries, there's going to be three things you want to look out for to ensure your success. And the first one, above all else, is timing. The planting window for strawberries is actually quite large, due to the fact that we're never planting them for a harvest in that year. But it's not an infinite window. Strawberry plants are normally grown in temperate climates which means one thing, winter. As such, your strawberry plants are gonna be planted in the window of time between your last frost in the spring and your first one in the fall. In practice though, the actual window of planting is a little bit smaller than that. No doubt, spring is the best time to be planting your strawberries. It gives the plants the most time to grow and get themselves established. For me, I've always found the week after the last spring frost date is the most ideal time to plant. Like we said though, strawberries are versatile and you can plant them all throughout the year. Hot summers can be tough though and you're going to want to watch the moisture level for at least a couple of weeks until the plants can find their way. And then after summer, you can plant all the way up until a month before your first fall frost. At minimum, Young strawberry plants need about four weeks to get going and get themselves really established. They need a large enough crown and a large enough root system to survive their first winter. So, although the timing window is quite large, it's still very important. The next parameter affecting your strawberry success and this one is going to affect them their entire life, and that's space. Strawberry plants don't grow up. They grow out, and as such, they need the room to do so. The rule of thumb is about a foot apart between each plant, two feet between rows. 
A little less won't kill the plants, and a little more will give them more room to grow. So it's not an exact science. Remember though, once a bed or a pot is planted, the clock is ticking. This is because strawberry patches, large or small, have about a five year lifespan. The runners will root everywhere they can, every square inch of space available, and the mother plants themselves will become overgrown, unruly, and even start to compete with itself for resources. A typical strawberry patch will have its best production in years two, three, and four. After that, you'll probably start to see some major declines until the patch is replanted. And finally, the third parameter governing your strawberry success is the right conditions. No question, your strawberry plants need the right set of conditions to produce that epic bounty. We're talking light, moisture, and the soil specifically. Strawberries are a full sun plant, growing best in eight hours or more of direct sun per day. As a minimum though, shoot for six hours. Anything less, and you'll start to see smaller harvests for sure. For moisture, strawberries are a woodland plant, so they enjoy constant moisture. They do have extensive root systems, but they're quite shallow, and they're very fibrous at the ends, and in no way as efficient as your peppers and tomatoes. As such, they can't dry out like those other plants. Regular watering is simply a must, especially when grown in containers. Try not to water every day though, unless it's in extreme heat and it's necessary. Every time we water, we wash the soil of nutrients and goodness. And on that note, you gotta mulch. It really does help to keep that moisture locked in, allowing us to water much less. I know I stress this all the time, and every crop should be mulched, but especially strawberries. And as our final environmental condition, we have the soil. Like we said, strawberries love a moist soil, but it must be well drained. Standing water or anaerobic conditions are quickly going to kill your strawberry plants. Keep the soil moist, but not soggy. pH of neutral to acidic works best, and a high organic matter is going to give you optimal results. A great way to do this is to add in some compost either initially as a planting medium or later on as a top dressing. Choosing the right spot with enough space and at the right time means everything to the success of your strawberry patch. Planting earlier is better, yes, but it's not always possible. I've got stacks and stacks of young strawberry plants, upwards of 300 or more, and I got a little over a month until my first fall frost date. So let's go ahead and get some of these guys planted. Ah, that's right. I forgot how bad these beds were. My two-year beaten carrot beds left to collect seeds. Not a pretty sight. But in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's get to work. Normally, when cleaning a bed of either spent plants or weeds, I'll simply cut everything down right at the root collar to minimize the soil disturbance. Being root crops though, these guys pull out in clumps super easy, literally taking a couple of minutes to clean both beds. Minimal disturbance, and only a few carrot bits remain on the scene. For planting these strawberries, I'm actually going to go ahead and dig here. Just a small depression, because as you'll see in a bit, strawberry plants are never buried. I'll go ahead and make all the holes at once to achieve the desired spacing. Easy stuff. Now, the soil is quite dry, much too dry for young plants. I'm going to need to pre-soak each depression 
to minimize the shock on my young strawberry plants. This is important for most transplantings, but doubly so for strawberries. This level of dryness could be lethal for them. So, soak the soil. It's well worth the extra couple of minutes. Even baby strawberry plants can have their own babies. Literally, runners at all ages. Now, I snip them off because they are a drain on the plant. We want these guys to grow as fast as possible with the frost and winter approaching. Time to finally plant. Now, for a lot of transplants, but especially strawberries, I use a quality potting mix to plant them into the soil even though we're planting into a large bed. Their thin, fibrous roots sometimes have a hard time getting established quickly into the coarser soils. So, a cushy, comfortable start really does help. Now, don't bury the main crown. This is important. Strawberry plants will rot and perish if that center crown is buried in any form. There's just no way around it. Keep it high and showing if you want the plants to live. Planting out the rest of the two beds assembly line style takes all of five minutes. Already, some of the young plants even have strawberries on them. I normally pluck all the flowers off in the first year, but it's hard to say no to a couple of beauties like these. There we go, all planted. The temptation is to water immediately, but we'll get to that in a bit. There's always one more step before we do. That's right, mulching. Let's get a nice thick layer of fine clean straw on first, before we do anything else. The mulch will help to lock in the moisture at the surface, keep the soil temperatures moderate, and prevent erosion when those heavy fall rains come. Mulching truly is the difference maker between a mediocre strawberry patch and a great one. Okay, now we can finally water. Give the strawberry plants a good soaking. And not just the plants, but the soil around them as well. The roots on these guys expand horizontally, so the soil must be moist and hospitable for them to do so. You can, and most people do, fertilize it this time with a balanced dilute liquid solution. Anything to help the plants get ahead is good. The potting mix I use today is quite supercharged, so I'm just going to go ahead and use regular water at this time. The finished beds. They don't look like much, and the young plants seem a little worse for the wear. But, they'll soon perk up, and even though frost is in four weeks, these beds are going to fill out before the winter hits. Now, if you're going to be growing in containers or pots, it's basically the same thing. The spacing can get kind of cramped, but all that means is you'll be replanting sooner than the typical five-year plan. Any pot or planter that drains well is going to do, and you want them to be at least six inches tall. When putting your plants in, try to keep them about six to eight inches apart from each other and around four inches apart from the sides. Use a quality potting mix, and you'll likely see some amazing results. Truly, with how easy they grow, some people actually prefer to plant their strawberries in containers or pots. Look at that, pretty easy stuff. Maybe 20 minutes tops for both beds. However, like any single in-depth planting video, we cover a lot of stuff, probably too much. Definitely more than we can remember. So let's go over some of those main points to hammer them home. 
Strawberries are one of the most giving crops that you can plant. Grown mostly in temperate regions, this crawling perennial is planted a year before the first harvest, usually in the spring, but it can be planted all the way up into a month before first fall frost. They enjoy the full sun and a moist, well-drained soil that's rich in organic matter. Almost never grown from seed, your main strawberry plants should be spaced about a foot apart, but they can be planted quite shallow as the root system is more branching and fibrous than the depth-seeking taproot kinds. When planting, ensure the center main crown is not buried. It's important that this stays above the soil line for the health of the plant. And it's the same with containers. Give them as much space as you can, but likely they're gonna get a little cramped. It's okay, you'll still get bucket loads of strawberries. Give them at least six inches of depth and really use a quality potting mix. No question, looking at some of my results over the years, you'll find that container strawberries give you some of your best production. Mulch heavily with straw and give them a good soaking. Many growers will also fertilize at this time with a balanced liquid feed, especially if they want to max out that growth before dormancy. Use your judgment and if you think they need a little food, well then give it to them. The wait may be a long one, but once they get going and you're harvesting bucket loads of strawberries next year, it's totally worth it. Strawberries really are a special crop. Beginner success is not uncommon, and every year you learn more and more about the nuances of the plant. There's tons of varieties to choose from, and more than enough customers to eat all that you can produce. Yes, they do require a bit of patience and a bit of planning, but once your strawberries are all set up, you'll enjoy more than a few years of unbelievable harvests. And hey, once those harvests plateau, just start the process all over again. Best of luck, guys. Hey, thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate the support more than you know. And if you're getting value from these videos, please like and share them to spread the word and help your fellow gardener to grow better.